We are at the Orange County Speedway for the 15th race of Season 3 of the SCRL Bush Grand National Series. The 7 to Blaze Ibitar, leading us to the green flag. Stop beside him is the 45 of Boston Jones. Rusty starting the lineup for today's race. Check a white line who is starting in the 24th spot. Has a 121 point lead over Al Legacy. Al is starting 19th. Of course, the Orange County Speedway. This 0.37 mile oval. This is the second time we are racing at this track this season. In the first event, it was Shaka White Lion winning this event. We did not run this track in season one, but the defending race winner of this race, Joshua Rush, is not here to try and win this event two seasons in a row. Of course, in the last round at Hickory, Jack Legacy broke a one-year winless streak here in the Bush Series. Jack is starting in the 12th spot. We've had a lot of drivers breaking winless streaks. We had White Line break a winless streak. We had Sam Oskin. We had Al Legacy. And then we had Jack Legacy in the last race. So, anything could happen on these short tracks. 30 laps is the distance for today's race. No green, white, checkered. And now for those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! The field is rolling off to begin our lone pace lap. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems. Pace car pulls in, there he goes. And we are green here at Orange County. Off towards turn number one, Blaze with a good jump, but here comes Boston Jones on the outside. Down the back stretch. Toward turn number three. Boston Jones with a good run off turn number three into turn number four. Boston Jones passes Blaze and he will lead the first lap here at Orange County. Into turn number two, down the back stretch once again. Bow for second place, here comes Blaine Hayes in the 97 car. And Blaine will take over second place. He's going to try and go for the lead now. Down the back stretch. Blaine with a good run. Austin Jones slides up the track just a little bit, but off the final turn, it'll be Blaine Hayes leading a lap. 27 laps to go. You see Sam Oskin is stuck on the high side. Our Darlington race winner, so he's trying to make some moves. Push in the 48, uh, Matt McIntyre. Take a look at our points leader. There she is, White Line, stuck on the high side. Fighting Derek Green, who finished second in the last round of Hickory to Jack Legacy. Speaking of Jack Legacy, there he is. Currently inside the top 10. Battle for the race lead. Here comes Matt McIntyre. Whoa, he almost makes contact with the 97. Very aggressive driver. McIntyre is. As Blaine Hayes leads another lap. Matt McIntyre with a good run off turn number one. McIntyre will take over the race lead. Sammy Oskin chose to go on the inside line. Of course, the preferred line around this track is the outside line for some reason. Oskin going up the track just a little bit. Oskin going to try and catch Blaine Hayes for second place. McIntyre is pulled away by a seven thousandths of a second lead. You got 21 laps to go this time by. Right? 
See the high line not working too well for Sam Oskin just yet, but here he goes off in the turn number one with a great run. And Oskin will take over second place as he have enough time to catch Matt McIntyre, who has a 7,000th of a second lead now. 20 laps to go. We are not in danger of catching lap traffic. As you see, Jack Lacassi, our Hickory Race winner, currently in the eighth spot. Lane Hayes trying to keep Boston Jones behind him in third place. Lead is eight thousandths of a second. Oskin is on the low lane now, which will allow Lane Hayes to get a good run. Off turn number four, Oskin tries to block, but it's not enough. Lane Hayes will take over second place. As here comes Riley Spurley to our Kart Series champion. And, of course, our winner earlier in the season at Dover. Let's move Spurley Tube into sixth place. Next time by, we will be officially halfway. Comes Blaine Hayes on the outside with a good run. Blaine Hayes, he wants to get that first victory. Here comes Michael Brown to join the party in the 24 Budweiser Pontiac. As we are halfway, Blaine Hayes will lead the lap again. See Cassie Dent fighting hard on the outside of Rice Billy Tube, our cart champion. Cassie Dent, of course, won at the Milwaukee Mile. So she's trying to get her second win of the season. You see Matt McIntyre trying to work back on the outside of Blaine Hayes to try and get his lead back. Michael Brown trying to pass on the inside line, not able to. And in turn number one, Mac McIntyre with a good run. He will assume the lead. We will have 11 laps to go this time by. We have got this entire race caution free. Lane Hayes, though, he's going to try and take the lead back on the outside. Not able to. At least not yet. Here comes Blaine again. They just get such a good run off turn number two. And Blaine Hayes will assume the race lead once again. Our front four drivers have never won in this lead. So as of right now, it seems like we will get our first time winner the way things are going. We will have eight laps to go this time by. We are not catching lap traffic. Now you see our points leader. White line currently in 13th. You see Al Legacy right behind her in 14th. So first and second in points are staying right beside each other. You see Sim Oskin is the only driver that's trying to make passes on the outside right now. He is up to fifth. His next target is the 24 car on Michael Brown. We'll have five laps to go next time by. As you see, Matt McIntyre, he's moved back up on the outside. He's trying to get around Blaine Hayes again. Just not able to this time. You see him, Sam Oskin going for fourth. Does he have enough time to catch Blaine Hayes? I don't think he does. Four laps to go. 
see Boston Jones has moved to the high side as well. Boston Jones, of course, started in second place. He passed Blaze on the first lap. As you see, Matt McIntyre with a good run off turn number three. But he's not able to get around. Blaine Hayes, not yet, but here he goes. He's trying. Two and a half laps to go. Matt McIntyre is there, as well as Boston Jones. As the 48 almost makes contact with the 97 once again. And Matt McIntyre takes the lead with two laps to go. You see Sam Oscom is trying to push Boston Jones. I don't think they're going to be able to catch Matt McIntyre. And to turn number three and to turn number four. White flag one lap to go for Matt McIntyre. Austin Jones battle for second place. Down to backtrack for the final time. And what a surprise off the final turn. Matt McIntyre scores an upset. He wins here at Orange County. Another first time winner in the series. Here are your race results. Matt McIntyre holds on for his first win of his career. Second, Boston Jones. Third, Blaine Hayes. Fourth, Sam Austin. Fifth, Michael Brown. Sixth, Rowan Marmot. Seventh, Riley Spurley Chief. Eighth, Cassie Dent. Ninth, Blaze Vertar. And tenth was Jeremy Eichel. Rest your race results. All 25 drivers finished the race. Only lap no one was out. Well, that is it here for Orange County for the 15th race of the season. We'll take you to Victor Lane for the first time of his SERL career with Matt McIntyre. There isn't one. Here are your points. Standing is after the 15th race season at Orange County. Shekka Whiteline is still our points leader. She has a 133 points lead, so she gained 12 spots on 12 points on our legacy. Third is Chase Miller, 204 points behind. Fourth is Blaine Hayes, 206 points behind. And fifth is Michael Brown, 229 points behind. Rest your point standings. That is it for race number 15 at Orange County. We'll next see you for round number 16 at the South Boston Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.